In the conference, Oxford provided a five-star performance for the fans at the Kassam Stadium against Ebbsfleet United. Lewis Haldane finished off James Constable's run for the opener before Constable made it two five minutes later. Yemi Odebade capitalised on calamities at the back to add to United's tally after the break. Ebbsfleet did manage to pull one back. However, United turned on the style, allowing Phil Trainer and Alex Fisher to add the gloss to the 5-1 win. As the new year rang in, Oxford United's new manager was ringing the changes. Leicester City striker Ricky Sappleton made an immediate impact at the start of a loan spell at the Kazam Stadium, setting up James Constable, who's on loan himself from Shrewsbury, for the goal that broke the Salisbury resistance. For 70 minutes, this bad-tempered match had produced plenty of rash challenges, but few goal-scoring opportunities. But once Constable had given United the lead, the chances were free-flowing. Lewis Haldane, on loan from Bristol Rovers, was off-target twice before United made the game safe. Constable the provider this time, Sappleton with a cool finish, 2-0. James Constable is the king of the Kassam Stadium just now. He found the net for the sixth straight home game, but he had to work for Oxford's winning goal. Altrincham found, though, that there was just no stopping the on-loan striker, who managed to score from the floor to give Oxford a much-needed victory. Here's one falling to Odebade, who heads it into the back of the net! Yemi yeah, Odebade, a rare headed goal! Odebade holds on to it. Now Forrest Green are getting defenders back, but he's threading it through to Constable, and Constable makes it 2 0 to Oxford United. The goals keep coming for Constable. 15 goals for the season. Oxford 2, Forrest Green Rovers 0. There's a short corner on, United have gone to sleep. They played it short to Cliss. Good delivery in, and that is in, and that is a goal for Forrest Green Rovers, and it's 2 1. United are celebrating their fifth conference win in a row. They beat Crawley 1-0 at the weekend, with Adam Murray getting the decisive goal. With the points deduction, United are six points off the playoff places. It's a mark of how far Oxford United have come under manager Chris Wilder. There's disappointment after this draw. United couldn't make it six conference wins in a row at Cambridge, but they look to have set themselves on the way after just nine minutes. He got the cross in, and there arriving was that man Murray. And Oxford have the lead, a deserved lead. And it's Adam Murray who scored against Cambridge earlier in the season, popping up for his third goal of this campaign. United squandered numerous other chances or made to pay on 72 minutes with a true touch of class. Here's Carden. Paul Carden has produced an absolute stunner to draw Cambridge United level. So United unbeaten in January and now just three points off a playoff place. It was freezing and windy and Oxford seemed determined to make heavy weather of beating Lewis, a side who'd gone 11 hours without scoring but were in front within 11 minutes at the Kassam Stadium. That goal wind assisted, as was United's reply from Adam Murray, his third goal in three games. There was a nasty shock for Oxford early in the second half. A disputed penalty was awarded to Lewis, but it was saved by United keeper Billy Turley just. After that Oxford's attack was like a toboggan going down a snowy slope. They were going to break through Lewis and Luke Foster headed the winner. Still time for Lewis's Sean Wilkinson to lose his head and see red. Oxford have the playoff places back in their sights though. If Oxford United hadn't ultimately won this game at a canter, referee Stephen Cummings might not have got away so easily with the schoolboy error that was the talking point of the first half. Having yellow-carded Barrow defender Nat Kerr for a dust-up with Oxford's Craig Nelthorpe, he went straight for another yellow when Kerr pulled down Lewis Haldane. Two yellows means an automatic sending off in any league in the world. Except it seems in the conference, and by the time Mr Cummings had sorted out the comings and goings, he thought he'd booked a different player altogether. Oops. His blushes were spared by a scintillating second-half display from Oxford, who buried Barrow with goals from Farrell, from Haldane, and after a brilliant through ball from Murray, from Odebade. Six home wins in a row now for Oxford. And Oxford kept their winning ways going at home to Rotherham. Craig Nelthorpe showed his intentions in the first half, rattling the woodwork from the move of the match. However, he wasn't to be undone and on the hour mark scored the game's decisive goal, running onto a cross from James Constable. There's little way to describe the moves that followed though. Best to point out United are two points off the playoff places. 
And in the conference, Oxford lost at home for the first time since September. It was nil-nil when United's Craig Nelthorpe was sent off against Torquay for a challenge deemed over the top. It was nil-nil when the Red Mist descended to on Torquay's Roscoe de Seine. The red card quickly followed. But playing ten aside, Oxford switched off. Torquay hit them with two goals in six minutes, both scored by Elliot Benyon. And Torquay secured their first ever win in Oxford. Are Oxford's playoff hopes now over? Here's the corner for Oxford United. Again, he starts it a long way out. It curls back in. And it's there! Direct from the corner. Adam Murray, 1-0 Oxford. Flicked on by Constable towards Bay, who helps it back into the path of on-rushing Oxford United players. Uh, Cliss makes a run into the penalty area. Cliss shoots and scores! 2-0 Oxford United. It's uh, almost a source of frustration that Oxford, with Constable hitting the woodwork and uh, scuffing a decent chance, haven't made this scoreline more convincing. But I tell you what, on a night like this, beggars can't be choosers, or can they? As Farrell goes through to the edge of the penalty area, goes round the defender, goes round the goalkeeper, and does make it 3-0!